this skew. Hi, I'm Iris Karp from Attached Inc. We make Misty Fuse, which is our main product. This is Misty Fuse. It's the sheerest, lightest fusible available. So we worked with a chemist uh, because we wanted something that was a green product, small footprint, and that would be good for quilts. It wouldn't gum up in your quilt. It won't turn to sand later. It ages well. It's got great properties. It doesn't change the hand of the fabric. So what we've done now, we got rid of solvents, blow additives, extra adhesives, uh, solvents, and um, body modifiers, things like that. We work differently too because we don't have paper on it either. So the way we work with Misty Fuse, I like to recommend pre-fusing. We take your fabric, pull all your fabrics out for the project. Take the Misty Fuse, put it on the back of the fabric and just real simply iron it. You can just glide your iron. I'm using one of our goddess sheets which is a very, very thin fiberglass sheet with Teflon coating. So when I pull this off, I can just wipe off this excess so that it doesn't snap back onto the fabric. When you pull this off, it also puts a shine on the back of the fabric so you can see which side of the fabric has the Misty Fuse because without that, it's often hard to even see it. So now once you have that fuse on there, you can use up all your fabric. If you don't use everything right now, within about 15 minutes to a half an hour, it will cure back to this very dry state. Because we don't have solvents and blow additives, extra adhesives, the things that degrade the product and are harmful for your fabric, because that's not in our product, in about 15 minutes, once this gets to this very, very dry state again, you could fold this up, put it on your shelf, come back a month, a week, a year, years later, and it will work the same and not be harmful for your fabric. The way we get the design on there now is that we pull, use parchment paper, silicone coated parchment paper, and trace out I would have been good if I had a pattern out here, but I didn't pull something. So I'm going to just trace out my design from here. I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to keep that right reading. I'm not going to reverse it. So there's no none of that mind-bending stuff to do. Take as much fabric as you need. If I had 10 shapes out of this fabric, I would draw them all together. Reynolds parchment paper is a great silicone-coated parchment paper. That would work. Put the design the, with the few, put the fabric with the few side directly down on the pencil line. Now all I have to do is iron from the parchment side. And now you can see the line. This was a number two pencil, which works with almost every fabric. Um, if I had a dark fabric, I would use a white Prismacolor pencil or a gold or a pink or yellow. I'd have a couple of alternative pencils to use. I could leave the paper on, but I don't like to. It's harder on my hand, it's harder on my scissor, and um, when you take paper off a shape that's just been cut, you're actually starting a fraying process. So now, I don't have to leave the paper on. I can pull it off, and the Misty Fuse lifts the design off the paper. So now, all I have to do is cut out my design, and I'm using actually a Havel scissor, which I think is amazing. It's cut my demo time in half because I can just cut so fast and easily. It's, one, it's a wonderful scissor. So I don't sell them, but you probably can also get them at United Notions. To get the design on here now, take your fabric. You could pin it on. We don't have that extra adhesive. So the no stickiness to make it temporarily stick. So it's not going to temporarily stick on there. You could put it on with a pin, but that's a lot of work. I'd rather just take my iron and just stick it like that. It, it works just like a temporary pin, but it's not enough that it's going to really get the fuse to bleed into the other fabric. So what you do now, is you can pull it up. It's not gonna leave any residue. Put it where you want it, finally. If that's your spot, then again, just fuse it down. The other thing about it, I wanna tell you about the goddess sheets. Um, we have curves on the goddess sheets, especially if you're going to use uh, the, our bigger sheets. These have curves in the corners, so that, and they're a different curve in the, in, in like, 
one side from the other. So your hand becomes used to them. You tend to put them down the same way every time. And once you do that, you've dedicated one side of your goddess sheet, one side of your fiberglass sheet to your iron. So there are fewer accidents that way as well. Um, and so those are the three sizes. This is our medium size, which is about 18 by 24 inches, just shy of 18 inches. But that's what I use to make a board like this. We make a board where we wrap the goddess sheet, we cut off part of it. Uh, we use wool felt. Actually, you can see it better on here. Some, some wool felt and wrap the goddess sheet, just tack it on and you've got a great surface to work on. The part you cut off, you can use on the top. Thank you. You've done it.